Great to see you, Cara. Thanks for making time for this. So I was reading the Sisters in Crime on Facebook. They have a group on Facebook. And Sarah Paretsky was making a comment that everything seems to be a standalone these days. Everybody who was writing series is now writing standalones. And she was saying, why? And she felt badly because poor old VI, you know, she just writes a, a series with her. But you've just written a standalone. I'm writing a standalone. What is it with standalones, do you think? I don't know. You've been urging me for years. Come on. <laughs> so, so has many. Oh, many cool. <laughs> I know. I had to write 19 in my series before I was like, okay. Um, it's a scary thing, you know? Um, and of course, I'm a little late to the bandwagon. And um, But I, I'm glad I did. I was encouraged by my editor, you know, which is the first thing. And she was like, come on, you know? And I had, a, and first of all, of course, I had a story to tell. And it was based on this strange uh, hit factoid I found in a footnote in a history book about Hitler that's the truth, you know? And it's, it's yeah. more strange because it's true. And, you know, it was that what if. But there was a story there, right? And that's, we're storytellers, so got to have the story, you know? Right. And, um, and was it a big change from writing, Amy? Yeah, it was totally, <clears throat> excuse me, totally. I sort of felt like I was having an affair, you know, just <laughs> going off. And uh, <laughs> and then when I got over that, because Kate is so different from Amy, she's an American gal, she's big bone, she's not petite or fashion conscious. She grew up in hard scrabble, backwoods, Oregon, you know, shoots, had five brothers, very different. And it was really great to go there, you know to be that kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, American in Paris. Of course, it's wartime, so and the stakes are high. And um, it was great. You know, she had a, she's a different persona. Of course, she, she does incredible things. Well, it, it's called Three Hours in Paris, and it did phenomenally well. What are you, you're into a third printing already? Third printing. In the pandemic, I can't believe it. Who knew? People, people were reading. That's, that, that's incredible. That's wonderful. So do you, has it wet? Has it wetted, I don't know what the past tense of wet is, uh, has it wetted your appetite to do another one? Yeah, I, I've always been curious about um, Amy's grandfather's mistress, mm -hmm. who she is. And uh, so I, I think there's a story there. And then people have been saying, is there a, <coughs> excuse me, sequel to Three Hours in Paris? Is there a sequel? There might be. Wait, wait, we have to brainstorm this. I don't know what. I didn't know that. Oh, really? Have you got a Have you got a handle on it? I have. It's been coming to me. Yeah. Oh, that's that's terrific. That's great. Yeah. It'd be different. But yeah. And what about you? I mean, <clears throat> I see the well, lovely cover of Abandoned. Abandoned River. River is is a standalone. It's it's my sixth historical standalone. But unlike the others, which were thrillers, this is not a thriller. It is not a mystery. It is a saga. It's a family saga about two sisters. And so I'm still a little nervous about it because, you know, I've never written just women's fiction. I've always had the, the structure of, of a mystery to guide me. And so this wasn't that. But there was a lot of inherent suspense. And I used everything that I've learned about writing suspense when I wrote this book. So I suppose you could call it maybe a little bit of a thriller. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. So it's historical um, fiction, right? It's yeah, historical fiction. I, it's, I'm also calling it women's fiction because it's about two sisters. And um, it takes place over 10 years. So not, not too long, but uh, enough time. You know, and uh, so anyway, um, thank you so much for telling me your story. And I can't wait for the new one, your new standalone to come out. I find it just really freshens. What is it that uh, the French when you cleanses your palate? Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted to say. But you said it better. <laughs> Thanks, Cara. Talk to Thanks, you soon. Debbie. Bye. Thank you.